Okay. All right. What can go wrong with a live presentation, right? I've, I've never used a Mac before. My, my demo was on my laptop top back there. So we're just gonna give this a shot, okay? Um, my name's Tom Fenton. I um, am a technical marketing <laughs> engineer for ControlUp. I also do a little writing, blogging for storagereview.com and virtualizationreview.com. And in my past life, I did work for VMware, hence the, the nice cap here. Um, this session, we're gonna be about how, some, some tools that we have to monitor Horizon VDI clients and uh, home networking. Um, big disclaimer, uh, in, in the abstract, we're gonna be talking about monitoring the home network connection and health of the Horizon client and how VMware partnered with ControlUp. We came up with a product called Remote DX uh, that allows us to do this. Any, anyone here familiar with ControlUp? Oh, fantastic. Anyone here familiar with Remote DX? Ah, great, this, this is the audience I was hoping for. So some of you had a little bit of experience to control up, so the rest of you will get a little bit more experience with it. We got 12 minutes to do this. I mean, then you that do have control up but aren't using Remote DX, hopefully after this presentation, it's something that you'll want to kind of investigate and use. Um, you can download uh, advanced monitoring for VMware Horizon by control up. You know, don't you love how long they make their names here? Uh, it is on Customer Connect. Um, you can download a trial, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're gonna talk about the problem, the solution, and then how to get it. So about, <laughs> about three years ago, we have what I think is probably the largest mass migration of a workforce ever, right? I mean, in two weeks, a month, 80% of the white collar workers went from working in a, a office place to their home, right? You went from an office with 3,000 employees to 3,000 offices with 3,000 employees. And I gotta give a big hat tip to all you guys, because I think you guys are the ones that made this happen. Horizon, other technologies, we were able to enable those people to work. We didn't have a massive meltdown. Things proceeded pretty good, you know, all things considered. Uh, but we did have some problems. Like I said, we went from having a, a, uh, a single office space that had, had enterprise-grade equipment in it, enterprise routers, uh, networking, to people working from their home. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty technical guy. My router's five years old. Uh, not sure about the ISP on it. Um, I live a little bit outside of Portland, Oregon. We have these great old houses that have these lathe and plaster walls. And lathe and plaster, they take expanded metal, encase the whole room with it, and build a, a giant Faraday cage, right? Can't get Wi-Fi signal through it. And while we're going through this migration, it wasn't just us, it was the rest of our family. And so we, we, <laughs> we had uh, people playing games on the same network. We had our, our, our children trying to get educated using the network. We had people watching Netflix on the same network. So undoubtedly, someone calls you up, hey, my virtual desktop's having problems, right? What's the matter with my virtual desktop? You know, and so using the tools we have, we took a look at the, the virtual desktop, the infrastructure. It wasn't the virtual desktop. It wasn't the infrastructure. It was the lay them plaster walls and drinking too much beer and playing games. Um, so we needed some tools to help investigate these problems, figure out what's going on. And so we came up with something called Remote DX. Remote DX takes a look at the client side of things and reports back metrics there. So we can say, uh, you know what, not the virtual desktop. It, it, it's not you, it's me. Wait, it's not, it's not me, it's you. Uh, you're, you're having some problems inside your network. That we need to take a look at and investigate. And then this is kind of the hero shot because it you know, makes it real easy. Right here, we have the endpoint device, physical device. We can see their Wi-Fi signal. We can see their home router. Everybody loves Anna. Probably not an enterprise grade router. Um, we can see the total latency from the endpoint device to the virtual desktop. And then we also go out there and ping a known good, uh, a known good um, address. You know, 20 milliseconds, 
134 milliseconds. So maybe in the in the our, our infrastructure in the data center, we might be having some issues. Um, we collect a lot of different metrics. Uh, I showed you the LAN latency. We also connect collect, collect the Wi-Fi signal strength, the uh, NIC inter interface, and a, uh, what foreground app is running on it. Um, how intrusive is this? We have home users. What are they going to have to install? What are we going to have to walk them through? And that's one of the beauties of this. It's, it's, it's a plug-in for the uh, client, the Horizon client. It's a, simply one DLL. Uh, what kind of firewalls do you have to open? None. It goes over a virtual channel that you already have hooked up uh, using the Horizon client. We pick up that information and then display it. So it's a real painless way to do it. At this point, this is a can, or this is a, a, a video, but let, 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 let's go crash and burn and see if I can actually bring up the, the, the actual bits and, and see it real time. What do you say? Are you, are you game? Do it. All right, well, you guys are sick, man. You just wanna see me <laughs> fail. Um, never used a Mac before. Hopefully we'll get it right. Uh, so I'm gonna go, this is the control up uh, solve. Um, web portal, gonna go ahead and discover. This is your infrastructure. We can see all that other stuff. We don't wanna talk about it right now uh, because we love our users. We, are, we put them on a Horizon client rather than something else. Uh, we can take a look at the connection server. It's a little bit stressed, uh, but overall looks pretty good. But what we want to dive down is into the user sessions. Um, and it looks like we do have some users that are having issues. Red means bad. Uh, yellow means, eh, take a look at it. Have a couple different ones that are looking a little bit dicey. Um, uh, one of the great things about control up, I'm, I'm a fanboy, I'll admit it is that we collect metrics from everywhere. We have the agent on the virtual desktop that gives us if, uh, metrics every three to seven seconds. We have APIs that go out to the connection server, get us that information. We have APIs that go out to vCenter server, get us that information. So we collect a lot of this information, but right now we're just kind of concerned about uh, the client device score, you can see that you know we have things, so all I need to do is click this. <laughs> and and you, th this is not good, zero, zero percent. Uh, uh, yeah, um, so <laughs> you know, you, you definitely could talk to the end user and say, you know what, you're, you're, you're having some issues there um, with your home uh, network. Uh, that one doesn't have any on it. Let's see if we can find one that has some good data on it. Uh, there we go, okay, yep. Uh, lab slow, one millisecond, six milliseconds, 66 milliseconds. So we can really easily identify it. Um, but, but the big question is, so what? We identified the problem. Last night, two nights ago, when I was, uh, man, let me, Get back to the presentation here. Oh. <laughs> uh, last night when I was in the hotel room, I saw something interesting. I brought up a virtual machine to my home lab. Anyone see any problems here? With authentication, like I don't have any? Um, and. At first I thought maybe I'm missing something, maybe SSL certificates are take care of it. So I went and talked to the guys over there, the smart networking guys over there and go, nope, that's, that's no, that, that's kind of a, a, a red flag. Um, so what we can do is we also have the, um, this console here, this is called the real time console. What we can do is use those metrics that we gathered and create a, um, there we go, create a trigger for them. And I just called this one unsecure Wi-Fi. 
next, uh, record type session, don't care about this. And when it goes to a state, in this case, the Wi-Fi authentication is not RSNA, whatever, um, I'm gonna do something. Say next. Uh, and do I wanna do this to all users? Do every, does everyone need to be protected? I can, can, okay. uh, I can select the users that I, I, I wanna have this policy affect. And uh, I'm doing two things. I'm going to send an email to the boss saying, hey, tell this guy he can't be doing this on the network. Oh, and by the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and run an action where I log that user off. Uh, so we don't, we don't allow things like that in. Um, uh, da -da. So, <laughs> so, so, so that's remote DX in 12 minutes or less. We are on VMware Test Drive. Everyone know about VMware Test Drive? It's, oh, it's a great thing. VMware sponsors it. You can, can use their products. Uh, just just uh, sign up as a sandbox um, and play around with it. We are there. Um, we have a couple great blogs. VMware EUC guys, Gabe, uh, Sasha, and uh, Nilish wrote about it. Um, and of course, you can download it and uh, install it in your own system. Takes uh, in your own infrastructure takes about 15 minutes to install. Um, ah, I do have a few other sessions later on today. I'm going to be talking about how to make sure the desktop is available. And then one of my favorites is uh, guest density using MMR, and that's tomorrow at 11.15, and no one will be here, so it'll be lots of, lots of seats, right, right as everyone's leaving. So please take the, the survey. Thank you for showing up, and I'm glad it wasn't a train wreck. <laughs>